Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 9 of Civilization 5 as Korea. Between episodes I've been having a little bit of a think, a bit of a dilemma about the Incans and whether or not I should attack them. And the main reason for this is I appreciate at the high difficulty levels you are pretty much required to go to war with some civilizations at some point. Not just because they're likely to attack you, but because the AI gets such huge advantages to production and science and stuff like that, sometimes you just have to slow them down. The best way to slow them down is to attack them and take some of their good cities away. Now, the problem I've had in recent games, and it's led to my downfall in more than a few of them, is I either get too focused on one AI, often the wrong AI... And while I'm too busy focused on him, one of the other ones snowballs away. Or I start a war too early that I can't win and it ends up in a giant stalemate and it's a lot of production lost. Now the Incas aren't all that high up on the scoreboards, they're lower down than I am. You know, out of the eight players, including myself, they are currently six. So are they worth my attention? Now, I think they've only got two cities. It's possible there might be a third up here that I cannot see. Um, what would I gain from taking Cusco? I mean, they don't really have any unique luxuries. Yeah, they've got a few sources of cotton, but I've got a source of cotton anyway. Extra ones to trade wouldn't be terrible. It's not a particularly great city in terms of what it has to offer, but it is on a river and it's next to a mountain. So potentially it's a good science city. They do also have some wonders in there. Um, they've got the pyramids, they've got the mausoleum of um, Halicarnassus, and they've got the terracotta army. Obviously, terracotta army isn't all that useful. I should still build up an army because he's probably likely to attack me at some point. I am his only real neighbour. Yes, he's kind of neighboured to France up here, but there's a little bit of a gap between their borders. And the couple of times we've paid them to go to war with each other, they haven't really clashed as far as we can tell. And he does seem to be liking to keep a lot of his units down here on the border. I do pretty much expect that he is going to try and attack me sooner or later. So I've got to be prepared for that. So I'm definitely going to build up some units. We are going to need an army at some point anyway. But I figure I've probably got a fair few turns to actually decide whether or not I do want to try and take Cusco. If I could take Cusco, that would be enough because I think that would leave them severely crippled. Not bothered about getting the Great Lighthouse at all the only problem we've got of course is because we do have all of these hills a river and uh, forests and a mountain we've we're very limited on how we can get um, some line of sight on Cusco to hit it but we will do our best so Seoul has finished the garden that will improve the rate of our great person um uh, sort of spawning. Uh, I would like to work the university. We'll probably do that after we've got the great writer here. Um, but in the meantime, what else do we need in Seoul? Is there something important we should be getting? We could certainly have a look at a few of the um, the wonders right now. Is there anything specifically that I want to see? Angawak would be nice, but I've got a feeling that quite a few people would rush towards that. Um, not too bothered about Burabador. Should I just get the Artist Guild, possibly? Because it does give us... Well, having uh, working, it gives us science. I wonder if that actually counts as a science building. Interesting. Anger Watt certainly doesn't, which is weird, because I still believe that it should do. It does give us a great engineer point. Let's give it a go. We've got some decent production here. Let's see if we can actually get that. Uh, meanwhile, we do still have this uh, boat here, which is going to continue with some exploration. You're going to work on a plantation. 19 turns. That's quite a bit of time. And obviously, it's out of range. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, it is out of range of the cities, but uh, we'll still get a resource that we can uh, we can sell. Genghis Khan declaring war on city states. Well, that's fairly standard. Well, we've got compass now. Borders of um, Dago have grown. We've got the fish tile now. That's good. So that'll be some more food there. Not that it was a particularly bad um, city for food. Um, I was going to say, I don't think you'll be able to get around there. So we might have to ask for open borders. 
Although, although I am half tempted to just um, disband this, but it would be nice to have a look around. Oh, there's Hagia Sophia completed. Glad we weren't working towards that one. We've got ourselves our great writer. Okay, brilliant. So you're not going to be able to get down there. So let us go ahead and speak with the Celts. Would you be willing to give me open borders if I paid for them? So I'd like open borders and I will give you one gold per turn. Two gold per turn? Okay, brilliant. And now we can actually tell which way around these arrows work. So the arrow pointing towards them means I've got open borders with them. And the arrow pointing away from them means that they've got open borders with me. So that uh, I'll probably forget that the next time it becomes relevant. But at least I know for now. So the pointing towards them means that um, I can go through their borders. Uh, unit needing orders. We've got our great writer and it. it's old Bill Shakespeare. Let's go ahead and create a great work while we've got the slot for it. Now, what we could do in here now is... Because it's going to be 43 turns until we get a great writer again. We need to build some more amphitheatres. Let's untick those. And um, we could work the uh, workshop slot. That would actually give us 15 turns for Anger Watt. If we wanted to work the university slots as well, we're not starving. And we are production focused. Could we get any more production out of this city if we really wanted to. That's not a terrible tile to work. Keep working that one. Um, are we working any food tiles that we could switch more to production? There's not really any great production tiles that we're not working. So I think we'll have to leave it at that. 17 turns to get angle whack. We might be okay. We always try and send some more uh, production down there. It is on production focus. Again, these useful little icons that appear beneath the city name thanks to this mod that actually tell you whether they're in a Wheel of the King day, what focus they're on. Uh, if they demand a specific resource, we can see that as well. Oh, you've grown again already. That was Oh, that was just, um, just growing in size in terms of your uh, population. So let's go ahead and work the three food because you need to grow. So that will be 11 turns and we'll have to improve some of these tiles because we don't have a lot of good food and production tiles. We'll get the iron mine definitely, we'll get a work boat there. Um, we can probably afford to buy a work boat but I don't think we need it just yet so we'll leave it for the time being. And we're probably, oh there's Vancouver, fantastic, there's another city state. It's not terribly important that we find all of the city-states. Yeah, look at this. Look at these massive amounts of units that uh, the Incans are moving around up here. So I definitely need to make sure that I've got some units in defensive positions. So much so, in fact, I think I'm actually going to go and move one of my crossbows a little bit closer. Which is good, because we have just actually gained another crossbow here. And we have quite a bit of rough terrain. It's difficult because this is a good mixture of rough and open. I think I'm going to... Right, what's the other guy got? You have got accuracy. So let's go ahead and give you barrage. So you need orders. Uh, what are we working on now? We're actually working on another crossbowman. So I think you can actually move out as well. And we'll try and just have some units here to pick them off if they start to come towards me. Uh, we should be able to scoot through Vancouver. Oh, no, their borders are quite large, so they're going to get a little bit upset about the trespass. We have our cargo ship, which we're sending production to Seoul. We should definitely carry on for that for the time being, because we do want to try and get um, Angawak completed quickly. Because currently it's on 20 turns. If we send this, it should go down to 15. Yep, so we've just knocked a quarter off that. We do have a few more city-states that we can trade with now, so I will be changing some of these trade routes around at some point. Still not sure why the Celts still have this random uh, scout here just getting in the way. Trespassing in Vancouver. Well, we knew that was going to be a thing. Let's move you guys. Now, this isn't a hill, is it? No, so you can shoot over that. And I guess I could put you guys in the forest. You're not on the border, and that is a marsh, so it gives you a little bit of protection. So let's get you through Vancouver before they get really upset. We can reach that tile, so we'll be out of Vancouver. There's another barbarian camp. You guys, I think, are just going to stay there. 
I'm almost tempted to declare war on him and just sit in a defensive position and let him throw his units at me and just try and weaken them. But I think I could do with another melee unit uh, up front. Well, ideally, I could do with uh, um, bringing this crossbowman back onto this tile and um, putting a melee unit in the fort. Speaking of the fort, still three turns for that to be completed. You guys can stay there. We have got crossbows, so we do have a slight tech advantage at the moment, but that may not last. There is Hong Kong discovered. And we'll have to nip through their borders on the next turn. Yeah, that's a lot of units. And I know he, he does have a lot of units because he, ha he built the Terracotta Army. So he does have quite a lot of units, but it still worries me a little bit. We definitely want to consider getting a long swordsman or something, I think. Let's get through here. Not an awful lot to see. So, where is nearly finished its construction? Zhenju's still got a little way to go. We might have to... In fact, we could probably just buy one at this point. Um... Need iron to build a swordsman. How? F what are we like on text? Because we've almost got some Huachos or the ability to build them. I think we're going to go... Do I want to go steel and get long swordsman? Because they have long swordsmen. I think we do. I think we want to go physics into steel. And then we'll go into acoustics. Let's get some long swordsmen and put us on an equal footing. We're going to try and get some Huachos as well. Which is our unique unit. So it replaces the trebuchet. Now, the downside of that is the Huacha doesn't have the siege bonus against buildings, uh, against cities. But it is very, very useful against units. So, it's much more of a... It'll be very, very useful to have a few of them around here. And we can use them to start picking off um, the Incans units. We have finished that. Let's go ahead and build the mine here. It's only going to take 10 turns. By then, we should probably be able to build long swordsmen. So we can get a couple of those up front. I think we're definitely going to have to go after the Incans. Uh, they just have too many units right now. I'd like to keep him busy if I can. I wonder if it's time to... Oh, there's Burubador finished. And we have a great engineer. Ah, we have a great engineer. Do we want to go and rush... Do we want to go and rush that, or do we want to build a um, manufactory? That is a very good question. A manufactory here might be useful. Let's get him down to the capital anyway. Are there any more wonders which we really, really need? Mm, not really. All of these are national wonders. And it's possible somebody else is building Angawat, so we do have to be careful about that. Uh, Zhenju has grown. So you're starting to work a few times. You've got a lot of food, but not a lot of production. I think what I might do uh, is after the university, I might actually build the Artist Guild here. Um, simply because it has quite a bit of space. Do we get the workshop as well? What's your, your production is not great. I think I'm actually just going to buy a workshop here and that will speed things up a little bit. So you can continue to look around. And now we've got France's borders which I don't think we can get through. I don't want to end up paying everybody for open borders. It's annoying. Uh, would you be willing to declare war on Pachacuti? And there you go. I think I said his name right this time. You actually would, for two horses and marble. And you probably don't value horses. So if I was to offer you six gold per turn, if I was to offer you seven gold per turn, eight, what would I be willing to go up to? Maybe ten. Ah, nine gold per turn. There we go. And this time I've actually made the bargain with France and not the bargain with Pachacuti, which is good because it means I'm not giving Pachacuti gold, which is very, very nice. So let's go on to the next turn. We should see some... Wow, that is a lot of units. We should see those units moving away from us now. He has a lot of units. I really do hope that the French actually do something here as opposed to uh, the nothing that they've done the last few times. 
Do I want to get open borders with you? I don't think there's any way I, I can get around you without them. Well, we'll leave it for this time around. Right, we've managed to build that fort there. That's good. Uh, we do need a melee unit here, which we will... We don't need straight away, I suppose. Got some iron here. We can't get that just yet, which is a little bit of a shame. Let's bring the worker back anyway. We can clear some of this marsh out, I suppose. It'll help us a little bit. Because at least it'll give me a little bit more manoeuvrability around here. But they have a lot of units. Now, they don't have crossbows yet, but they do have... Um, are they swordsmen or long swordsmen? They're just swordsmen. So if we can get long swordsmen and crossbows, do I want to rush this? I'm going to rush it. Normally this early in the game, I would use a manufactory. But given the fact that there's a wonder there that I'd quite like, and I've already invested some production in it, We've only gone slightly over, I think, so hopefully, yeah, we should get it at the beginning of the turn. Angawat, there we go. So we get some um, reduced culture and gold costs of requiring new tiles in every city. So if you want to buy some tiles, which we probably will do, that's going to be useful to us. Uh, we could go for the National Epic, so that will give us uh, faster great person creation. That seems like a good idea. I don't think we need to... Should we work the workshop? Well, we're working towards a great scientist, so let's untick the workshop, because obviously great scientists and great engineers share the same um, points pool. So we'll try and get a great scientist out first if we can. Going to be very, very useful as Seoul, and uh, we may well get ourselves a uh, academy with that one. I don't think we'll go for a science pop. Um, let us ask France for open borders. I know it's all money that I'm spending, which is a little bit annoying, but if we can get through... We're just trying to do a little bit of scouting around. So we've got our open borders, we can come through here. And a little barbarian island up there all on its own. So, clear that marsh, that's going to take eight turns. Yeah, so you move all of your units over there and go and deal with France. Hopefully you'll keep the war going long enough to actually lose some units. A spy has been recruited. Okay, so who are we going to spy on? I guess it wouldn't hurt spying on the Incans. They're certainly not the best people to spy on. But given the fact we're probably going to be going to war with them anyway, it would certainly give me some line of sight. Um... It doesn't actually show me how many cities they have because, of course, you can only see cities that you've found. They're not See, Persia's probably the tech leader. Persia's not all that... Um, not all that close to me. But they could have a defensive spy. I think I'm going to spy on the Inca just for a little bit. Um, if anything, it will give me line of sight on the city and I can see what they're building. So, that could be useful. Um, Sol demand citrus. Well, we don't have any. Doesn't look like anybody has any. Unit needs orders. Oh, let's cut through here. Oh, we're almost as far through as we can be. In fact, we pretty much are. We've, we've pretty much been... I guess we can have a quick look around and see if we can see... Uh, I'm not going to get open borders with the Incans, but if I come over here, we can actually have a look and see if they've got a third city. I, I don't think they have. Okay, what have we got here? Gold per turn from Darius... Horses to Napoleon, gold per turn. So we were selling horses to both Darius and Napoleon. Okay, we'll go and see if we can get either of those back. Um, so, Darius, you were buying my horses. Let me sell four to you. For Now, what did we work this, this out to be? Was it about eight gold per turn or something like that? Seven, six... It's going to be five, isn't it? Yeah. And we can do the same thing with Napoleon. We definitely want him to keep his horses because we want him to have every chance that he can to win this war. So give me five gold per turn for four horses. Wow, you won't, you're not willing to do that. Would you give me anything for horses? No. So he's actually, uh, he's, he's, he's good with horses for now. Um, Persia then, would you actually be willing to, uh, to buy any more from me? Would you be willing to buy another four horses for another five gold per turn? 
No. So it looks like we're not going to be able to sell any more horses for a while. Okay. Uh, looks like Morocco has some furs to trade. Do I have any extras of anything? No, not right now. We will be getting some extra cocoa, but I don't know if he's going to need that. If we take Cusco, of course, we will have some extra cotton, and I'm sure he'll trade for that. Certainly says he will, because he doesn't have it. Might also be nice if we could actually... Oh, you're firing them. Oh, they're actually on some ruins there. It's probably not worth trying to grab it, but... What I want to do, though, is have a bit of a look down here, because we might get to see if there's anything going on between the Incans and the French. We've got a promotion here. We're going to give you um, accuracy again. And we're going to move you up into a bit of a more defensive position. What are we going to build here at Busan now? I think uh, we definitely need to get a university. Let's queue that up. Um, after steel, we've got acoustics queued up, which is good. And then we're going to go into architecture. I want to rush towards architecture because I definitely want to try and get the porcelain tower, which will be absolutely amazing as Korea. Um, and we're two turns away from completing a university here, so that's going to give us a big boost to our tech. You want open borders? I am going to refuse. You're going to have to go the long way around with your troops. And if it splits your army up a little bit and makes it easier for the French to thin you out, then that is totally worth it. Unit needing orders. So let's just have a look down here. See, can't actually see any units. So I don't even know if they're actually even attempting to attack each other. But we can certainly have a little bit more of a look and see what they have around. I really hope they actually try and attack the French. Or the French try and attack them. Either way, I hope there's some sort of skirmishing going on. Oh, wow. They've been getting a lot of stuff pillaged here. That is very interesting. So who's been doing that? Is that, is that the French doing that? Uh, this is another nice thing as well. If you actually want to look in somebody's um, city and you have a spy in there, you no longer have to go into the espionage overview and then click on the view button. You can now just click on the city. Isn't that so much easier? Um, so, yeah, they've got the mausoleum. They've got the National College in there. Of course, the Terracotta Army and the Pyramids. They've got a forge... Um, they're currently working on their artist guild. They're on gold focus. They're making a lot of gold. Okay. We might have a chance here, you know. I think the only reason they have um, so many units is simply because they built the, the Terracotta army. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to go and have to disband this. Uh, it, but we're going to bring you back down this way so we can see if there's any fighting going on here with the French. Uh, we'll just let this turn finish, I suppose, because we are going to get the university here. In fact, we should have already got the university. Didn't even see it pop. Or did I miss it? Anyway, two turns away from... Oh, did the, t did the turn not end? You should probably... You can just stay there. I don't want them to declare war on me right now by thinking that I'm going to declare war on them. Although it might be getting close to the time. It might be time to turn around and say, do you know what? Let's have a war. Because we do have better units than they have. Something might work here. Right, we've got a caravan. You were previously going to Zhenzhou with production. Zhenzhou is working on its artist guild. Probably doesn't need that. We could go somewhere else. But I think we'll keep working on the production. Just for the time being. At least it's a safe trade route. Or a relatively safe trade route. But that is about as much as we can do on that turn. So I think I will call that the end of the video. Maybe give it a few more turns for the Incans to move some more units away. And then maybe see if we can get a Longswordsman or two. And maybe a Hwacha or two. And think about attacking them. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Hope you are still enjoying Civilization V's career. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, 
goodbye for now.